As developers begin their career in the ABAP world, there's a good chance that they'll find a ton of information about the latest and greatest when it comes to the new ABAP programming concepts and tooling, such as the ABAP RESTful application programming model, OData, and of course Fiori. But it's important to understand some of the legacy ABAP concepts as well. For example, have you ever wondered what the differences between the various ABAP program types are? What is an executable program? Well, this is basically the classic report program originally used for, well, creating list reports. But if you hang around ABAP long enough, you will see that the capabilities of report programs go much further beyond just creating list output with write statements. You can build up selection screen using parameters and select option statements and pass these to the data selection logic to filter your data. You can leverage standard SAP output mechanisms such as the ABAP list viewer also known as ALV, to output your report in a much more user-friendly way. You can also call a screen as well within a report program. So as you can already tell, the ABAP report program is a pretty versatile program type. And my guess is that you'll find these within your ABAP environments for years to come. Another program type called module pool programs are programs which are designed to contain one or more screens, also known as DINPROs and the associated PBO and PAI modules. These are not standalone executable programs like reports, but instead you need to tie a transaction code to the screen. If you take a look at the main section of a module pool program, you will see yet another type of program called an include program. In most cases, include programs are meant as a way to organize your ABAP code. For example, in a module pool program, you have separate includes for your global data declarations in the top include, separate include programs for the PBO and PAI modules, and of course, a separate include for the form routines. You can also use include programs as a way to reuse some ABAP assets across programs as well.